Elden Ring has a ton of items that can provide secret passive effects or bonuses to attributes that can help a ton, especially in the early stages when you want to meet the minimum requirements faster for a certain weapon or spell, but especially later on when you want to make the most out of your class, get the highest amount of a certain attribute as fast as possible and like just become way more efficient. In this video we're gonna cover items that can give you these bonuses for pretty much most of the major stats in the game, so let's begin. Let's begin with a few intelligence based helmets that can be very useful for an astrologer or pretty much anyone who plays with spells. Now you can find the earliest right here in northeast of Weeping Peninsula in a place called Impaler's Catacombs. You do have to make your way up there which is not too far from the entrance but otherwise once you're inside what you want to do is to farm about 5 or 6 of these imps that actually spawn really close to the nearby side of Grace. So you can kill these on repeat, reset the fight at the Grace and then start it again until you see this imp cat head dropping from one of them and this actually doesn't have any downsides it just gives you two points into intelligence which could be an amazing boost early on now if you're sick of doing that farming don't like the helmet or simply have bad luck what you can do is instead go for a different option a bit later in the game at the Raya Lucaria Academy right here starting from the schoolhouse classroom and what you have to do is to simply head right here to the left side there's gonna be a hidden wall right here that you can hit which will reveal a secret path simply keep it to the left side again on the narrow path and eventually you're gonna reach an area right here at the end of these cliffs where you can go ahead and claim the olivius glimstone crown and this one just like in the case of the previous one gives you a bonus to your intelligence but in this case it gives you a whooping three points at no additional cost now there's gonna be a third one also in the raya lucaria academy and from pretty much the debate parlor right here what you can do is to make your way over the rooftops not go to Renala but instead take it to the left side right here and just navigate these rooftops until you reach the nearby kind of like church slash library and here you're gonna want to make your way down and right behind the scaffolding you're going to notice that there's a white glowing crab the first time I saw this I did not pay attention to it but actually you want to kill it because this is going to drop an even more powerful item which is is the twin visage crown right here and instead of like giving you just two or three points in intelligence it gives you a whooping six but that's gonna come at the cost of some hp and stamina so maybe keep this one for a bit later unless you do a pretty good job at keeping your distance from enemies and bosses now the next couple of items are for the faith users and there's actually two that can provide two points into faith and yeah one of them can be acquired very early right here at the stormvale castle main gate you simply have to open up the main gate just navigate these ballistas carefully without getting shot and make your way right here to the side of grace at the gate side entrance and once you do that from this point on simply head up the balcony and right here at the end there's gonna be a corpse that gives you the commoners simple garb which provides one point into faith there's going to be a second item called ruler's mask that you can get also quite early if you run over there you do need to head over to this abandoned coffin right here and the easiest is to just head over to the Altus Plateau using the Grand Lift of Dactus and then just make your way over here without fighting anyone. Once you're here just a bit north of it there's going to be one of these kind of like well carts so to speak and on one of them you can get the ruler's mask and the ruler's robe but you will want the mask since this gives you the second point into faith so that's two points into faith right away to use with a build like that and get increased damage for faith abilities. Now if instead you play with a class that does not make use of faith, Stormvale Castle still has an item for you that can provide a bit of extra vigor, which is the Crimson Hood. But you first want to complete Rodrika's quest line until she becomes a vendor back at the Round Table Hold, so make sure you do that first. And also, I think you have to defeat, well, Godric in this case, because it seems to only spawn after that, but I could be mistaken. Basically, what I want to do is to just start here from the courtyard. You can use the left side chamber and just make your way back into the big building with yeah, the boss that has a lot of hands and is really annoying. Simply completely ignore it and go into the room right here on the left side where you will see a pile of corpses and some annoying dogs. And just get the item right here from the top of the pile and that should give you the crimson hood. This will provide about one point into Vigor, which means just a bit of extra HP. It can be helpful early on and it's a free point into Vigor, so why not? And besides, you get to look like the Red Riding Hood if you like that, which I assume not a 
lot of people do but it's still a nice addition now the next one is going to be for melee users and i do want to talk about a really strong well only mask that you can get a bit later in the game for your well assassin or anybody that uses dexterity and you can find one right here at the church of repose and you kind of have to fight one of these invaders right here that spawn as soon as you go into this location it's the same one that also gives you that rivers of blood katana so it can also be a nice double farm but that okina mask that you also get from it is quite useful it gives you three points into dexterity so it's a nice boost to that stat but it also comes at a cost of a bit of focus which is minus 44 if you get this mask on i still use it in the end game though so yeah it's something that you can make use of too now also for dexterity based characters especially the ones that play with blood loss and even more so use seppuku that ash of war that gives you a huge boost to your blood loss yeah you can make use of a really cool item not just a talisman and it's called the white mask to further buff up your attack power when there is blood loss nearby you get this during three invasions after finishing them during that var quest line you first need to like complete the first part of it that i already explained in the previous videos is the same one that brings you to the best rune farm in the game and around the middle part of it when you reach mogwin palace you can make your way in this well red swamp area and he will invade you in three distinct locations that are actually quite close to one another so the first one will be right here by this narrow path that leads to that swamp and he will spawn as soon as you enter that area so you will be dismounted the second one will be just a bit southeast of that heading to these two platforms at the top of them there's a tree that gives you a golden seed so he spawns really close to that too meanwhile the final one is just ahead of this passing the second kind of like rock structure and behind this pillar he is going to spawn for the third time once you defeated them you get that war surgeon set including the white mask which gives you a slight increase to your attack power when there's blood loss nearby so it means it works exactly like the same talisman from that build and it actually gives you a pretty decent bonus for absolutely free so let me just showcase this real quick so i have a 650 bonus over here on the r2 armament and that's going to be without any bonuses if i activate the two seppukus that's going to be about a 680 in total but if i go ahead and put the mask on and just activate this this instead will become a 748 which is a hefty 100 bonus to just attack power and if i were to go ahead and also activate the talisman and the mask at the same time that brings it all the way to 903 so this means you can apply that blood loss and deal so much damage with a nice build real quick and some early items well semi early because the talisman is a bit later on but this brings us to strength attribute and there's actually a couple of options including one early and one a bit later in the game now the first one is not fully guaranteed it's going to be located here east of liurnia at a place called the cliff bottom catacombs just like in the case of the previous imp heads you have to go ahead and farm the imps that actually again spawn really close to that side of grace and if you're lucky you should get the imp head fanged which in this case gives you a nice two points into strength relatively early in the game especially if you play with somebody that dual wheel or just has a huge greatsword. There is also an alternative to this which comes a bit later once you reach Lindell, the royal capital, and what you have to do is to head over here at the church around the center part of it. You can use of course the nearby, well, balcony in this case and just make your way down over here, jump at the rooftop of this house and then simply make your way right here by these canals. And up this kind of ladder you're gonna reach an area that has a mini boss so to speak and if you defeat them they guarantee drop that mask right away called the omen smirk mask giving you two points into strength so it can be quite useful for a class that makes heavy use of that maybe just a marginal increase but having those two levels not wasted somewhere else can mean a huge difference especially early on or simply as a nice bonus effect later on to maybe get a bit more damage this is it for now thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video